Most programming languages have a variety of ways of representing numbers, integers in particular. Uh, you can use base 10 numbers, base 16, base 2, or base 8, usually. Decimal numbers, or base 10, they're just typed the usual way. We've been doing that uh, for a long time in Java. Binary numbers, however, uh, which are just strings of zeros and ones, are prefixed with 0b on the front. This lets the, the, the compiler know that you're typing in a binary number and not some other type of number. Hexadecimal numbers are prefixed with 0x followed by the base 16 number. You can use either uppercase or lowercase for the digits that are represented using letters. And then finally, octal numbers are prefixed with just a single 0 in the front followed by the octal number. And the only digits that are valid in an octal number are the numbers 0 through 7. There's some terminology you should know about. LSB, or at least significant bit, is the bit that's all the way on the right-hand side of a binary number. That's because if you were to change this bit, it would change the, the value of the number by the least amount. The most significant bit is the one that's all the way on the left. If you were to change that bit, it would change the value of the number by a lot. So the significance of that bit is the most on the, on the left-hand side and the least on the right-hand side. When we talk about the low bits of a number, we're talking about the ones that are kind of towards the right-hand side of a number, and the high bits are the ones that are towards the left-hand side of the number. So the, the high bits are towards the most significant bit, and the low bits are towards the least significant bit. Here's a chart that you'll probably find handy. This one shows a few of the numbers in decimal, binary, hexadecimal, and octal. It shows the equivalence between the various numbers. For example, the number 12 in decimal is the same as 1100 in binary, C in hexadecimal, and 14 in octal. One thing to keep in mind here, and it's really important to note this, is that there we can represent using a single hexadecimal digit, so 0 through f, four binary digits. So one hexadecimal digit can stand in for four binary digits. Note that there are 16 possible ways to arrange four binary digits, and there are 16 hexadecimal digits. So oftentimes hexadecimal is used as a more compact way to represent binary numbers. For example, a 32-bit number can be typed using just eight hexadecimal digits. Now, Java is always going to display results to you in base 10. However, when you're typing in your programs, you can use whatever number format makes sense to you at the moment. So if you need to be working in binary, you can type in your numbers in binary. If you need to be working in base 8, you type your numbers in octal. Now, some applications require manipulating numbers at the bit level. For example, we might want to mask off or isolate certain bits in a number. We might want to set certain bits to 1 or clear certain bits to 0. These are done with the bitwise operators in Java. Other languages like C and C++ have pretty much exactly the same operators. I'll talk about those in the next video.